Sage Forsaken here. Today we're looking at uh, Fear of the Walking Dead Travis figure. This is from McFarland Toys. And of course Color Tops is the uh, thing that it was released under. One thing, like I'm going to go over what I like about the figure before I go over the things I hate about the figure. Because I do hate some things about this figure. I like that it came with a stand so that you could actually have something to stand the figure up on and when you if you were just going to display it. The gun is well detailed, the sculpting is good. There's a wash so that it looks real, you know, like looks better than just a standard figure a lot of times that you'll see. Uh, things that, you know, you know, even on the back it has the wash. So it's not like all junky where it's like super junky washed on one side but not the other. So, as far as that goes, those are the good things about this figure. The sculpt is good. Having seen a couple episodes of the show, um, I love the other Walking Dead show more, so I don't have uh, this figure as much as in my... Uh, no, I didn't care as much about this figure because I didn't watch the other show as much. But, uh, this figure does look a lot like the actor that he's portraying. So, I, that's the good things. Things I don't like is that this is not an action figure. This figure, uh, can't, you can't use your imagination and imagine him doing anything that you would think about him doing because he does only have very limited articulation. I'm trying to show you. He does have where he can swivel. He has wrist swivel. His arm goes up and down. So he can boogie down, I guess. But he has no leg movement. Like his no waist torso, no chest torso, no chest band, no leg movement whatsoever. It's a statue. It's like he's a paraplegic below the shoulders. His head will turn, and you know things of that nature. The hands are sculpted to hold the gun well, and then it drops because I said that. Um, but and they will turn, so you can have it in different poses. Uh, but it can't hold the gun to actually shoot anybody because, you know, who would want to shoot a zombie uh, in a zombie show or a person or whatever. But uh, he can hold it like he's on patrol or something of that nature. Um, but that's it. There's no articulation. So it's not an action figure in my opinion. It's a decoration. It's a decoration. So if you like to collect things to decorate your home and you love this show, then sure, go ahead and get it. But if you are, you know, basically buying toys to make cool pictures where they're actually interacting with other toys, then you're not going to be able to do much with this figure. That's my uh, opinion of the figure. You know, McFarland does make some really good, uh, as far as sculpting, they do a really good job sculpting, uh, and they do a good job of making cool figures if you just care about the look. But they're more concerned with the look than the playability. And at the end of the day, I want my toys to be toys, uh, and my statues to be statues. So that's how I feel about this figure. Um, you can have your own opinion, but that's what I wanted to talk about. With regards to this figure, if you have any questions or concerns, drop them in the comment field. And have a great rest of your day.